Why are wings better at restaurants? What kind of sauce do they use? These are some questions that I get and let's just go over them today. Now, one of the reasons why I'd say it's better at a restaurant is because of the sauce. Now, I'm not talking about a bar or some gastro pub. I'm just saying if I were to serve you wings at my spot, I would make my own hot sauce. Although I do love a Frank's hot sauce. Now, making your own hot sauce is pretty fucking easy. It holds well in the fridge and you can make it how you like it, which is great. And you can be proud of your condiment that you've made. And this is something that's gonna definitely up your wings. I just did a video on mirepoix, what mirepoix is. So I've got all this left over and I actually need this for my hot sauce. This is gonna be one of the foundations of the hot sauce's flavor. Mirepoix with the addition of garlic. And then I've got a big bag of chile ancho. Chile ancho, it's not a very spicy pepper, but it has a nice sweetness to it. So it's gonna add some more depth to the hot sauce. Pepper with the mirepoix, some coriander with the mirepoix. So just what I'm doing here is I'm making the base flavor and foundation for the hot sauce because if you don't have this then it's just blended up peppers and it's just gonna be straight up pepper. Now what type of chilies should you use for your hot sauce? Now whatever chiles you decide to use for your hot sauce just make sure you have some sort of heat right because we want to have some heat in our hot sauce so I've got some spice and I've got some nice Korean chili pepper. This is gonna add a nice heat to it and it's not too overpowering of a heat. It's actually got a nice sweetness as well. This is what they make the dried Korean chili flake with. It's really fucking nice. So nice that this is actually $20 a fucking pound at the store, but it's gonna be worth it. Now for the not so hot, I've got Fresno chili pepper. It's got somewhat of a heat, but it's more of a sweet pepper. As you could tell, it's kind of got like some bell pepperness to it. So Fresno chilies and Korean chilies are gonna be my hot sauce chilies today. I could do a lacto ferment on this. So 324 grams. Now what a lacto ferment is, is when you take the weight and you take 2% of that weight by salt. So you add the salt 2%, you would add the 2% salt by weight, give it a blitz, and then we would put it in a little baggie, let it lacto ferment, for about a week or two. And that's gonna also just up up the flavor. I could do a video on that in the future. I have one on the channel though. Um, that's just another little tidbit that you can do with your hot sauces. And that's basically sambal at this point. But we're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna blend it up nice and smooth and just make a nice hot sauce. So this is going into a high powered blender. See, I've got all my mirepoix softened up and it's going into the blender. One little thing that most people get wrong when blending is they'll just give it a blitz and they see it's blended and then they stop. You wanna let it go for at least, you know, two, three minutes and really let that stuff pulverize. That's what'll make it better. That's what separates it from just a puree to a nice silky smooth puree. So keep that in mind whenever you're blending stuff. Let it go longer than you think it should. To this, I'm adding in apple cider vinegar. You can use whatever vinegar you like. I like the stronger vinegars for my hot sauces. And then uh, to taste, I'm doing citric acid for that added pop of brightness. Then for some extra umami and flavor, some MSG of course followed by salt. And now when you ask me about amounts, I'm gonna say to taste. I'll put the amounts I'm doing in description, but it's really a taste preference thing. There we go, fucking hot sauce right there, man. So obviously don't immediately cover it, let it fully chill before covering it, toss it in your fridge, and it should pretty much last indefinitely, uh, especially if you keep it in a clean container and keep it clean. Now this right here, now this right here is gonna turn it into a restaurant quality wing sauce, just spat of butter, 
hot sauce, and then we bring it onto the burner, and then we're gonna turn it into a more like silky smooth looking sauce. Now this right here is what we call mounting a sauce. When you take the nub of butter and you just sort of, you give it some agitation over the heat and it has to be somewhat cold butter as well to make sure that it can make the sauce more thicker and luxurious. You can't just add in melted butter to it. Okay, so what type of fat would I use for wings? I could do something like this right here. Get in there, Ken J, see that? This is just a regular uh, rice oil. But look what I got. Look what I got. I've got duck fat. So I'm gonna use duck fat because it's delicious. It's got a high smoke point. It's actually better for you than seed oils too, so why not? Um, I do love using beef fat as well for frying. But if I've got duck fat, I'm gonna fucking use it, man. And this has been used before as well. I just filtered it out and I keep it in my fridge. This was seasoned with uh, some, some thyme and some rosemary. So it's got some nice like herbage flavor. This is gonna be a really good one to fry the wings in. Now, this is really expensive. So not for everyone, but like I said, why would it be better in a restaurant? Probably because we use a uh, better fat. So. That's just another reason, the type of fat that you're gonna to use to fry your wings. I've got time. I'm gonna season it with some more time. Just, you would just drop it into your oil, your fat, whatever, and that's how you can season your fats that you're frying with. Just, you know, make it that much better. You're adding layers. You're adding layers to your cooking. That's what you're doing. Your wings, you do not need to quite season these guys before. You could just take them straight out, toss them in, I promise you it's not gonna make much, make much of a difference when you like season them before. So might wanna use the longer shot guy cause it's gonna be kind of splattery. Are you a flats or a drums guy? Am I a flats or a drums guy? I'm a flats guy. I have your drums and wings. Like, uh, You're a drums? They're drums, right? Flats or flats? I prefer flats. Yeah, flats all day. Let me know when you're going. Good. So this has been the first fry in our wings. You wanna take them till they just start to look pretty much leathery looking on the outside, not too dark. This is gonna be our first fry. The first fry is meant to break down the collagen of the wings. And then when you do the second fry, it's gonna give you like that shattered glass skin. It's just gonna be so much better. They've been fully cooled and they're soft. The skin is like soft, rubbery. It's ready to be fried to have that nice shattered glass looking skin. Duck fat is at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for the final fry. I'm a flats person myself. 